How you doing guys? Professor EDC with another Blade Dosophy Sunday and today we have a whole bunch of knives, yeah knives, uh, on the table and uh, a few uh, of the things I have um, carved, whittled and I want to talk about today about my part of the week and, and weekend it came to mind, uh, and on the on the seventh day, he rested. It went something like that, right? And I'm talking about um, the Genesis. Why did that phrase come to mind? Because I ended up really um, tired of folding knives and and just blades in general. I study the whole week and um, I go through videos and articles and uh, books about blades um, every single day um, and I spend about four to six hours um, studying um, about this and, and prices and all because as, as you know most of the knives that you see the, the um, um, first impressions videos are all just knives that come through uh, the channel and that are um, special orders for um, many of my followers here in Mexico. So those are not blades that stay with me, they are um, sales. And I have to be on top of the game and really um, and, and on top of that, I, I really like it. I, I mean, I love blades, but I ended up burnt out and, and just fed up um, about blades on, on Friday. And so Friday night, I decided to just pick a, a, a couple of blades for my weekend. And I chose the, uh, I have them right here. I, I chose the PM2 uh, S110, PM2. And uh, the GEC, um, I, I think it was, I, I don't remember what the model is, but I think it's the 44, I'm not sure, the gun stuck. Um, but anyways, I, I, and generally I, I have that one as a backup. But I chose those two and never looked back to my pocket uh, unless I took it out because it was necessary. And I didn't watch a single video or read a single article or anything that had to do with uh, blades. It was until Saturday night that I watched a video um, by um, Alchemy One, my good friend Clint, about sharpening. And this all happened because Sometimes I, I tend to obsess over things, but it's not only that, the, the rhythm of life has changed. And um, especially working from home, there's uh, like no uh, stable schedule. And so we are, many of us are just working um, more than we should or more more than we can and in the end the body um, life uh, passes the invoice you know the body as we say in spanish the body is going to um, pass you the invoice and well what that means is sooner or later you're going to get tired sooner or later something's going to happen something's going to break and we should be uh, more careful with that, really. Um, I've seen many YouTubers, as I have mentioned before, you know, being burnt out and, and just um, airing off. Uh, is that the correct way to say it? Just disappearing for, for some time. And sometimes they come back and sometimes they don't. And th that's a pity because uh, just so many wonderful people with uh, good insights, good information, and but we we drive ourselves to that limit, you know, to that extent, 
And in my case, you know, I, I, I enjoy studying, I enjoy reading, I enjoy experiencing, experiencing because it's not only about um, reading about it, but also using the blades, you know? And whether it's, it's the week that I cut paper and I, I, I grab um, old magazines and uh, fortunately, where, where I live, there's uh, um, a beauty salon that I can um, ask for uh, old magazines and they give, give them to me without any problems. And I use these to cut and cut and cut and cut and slice and slice and slice paper with all my blades and, and just trying to get the feel of it. Whether I like them very much or not, or I'm not sure or whatever. But, you know, it's, it's, I study, I experience it, I, I, um, I haven't whittled enough lately. And, and that's something that I truly, truly enjoy. And that's why I, that phrase came up, you know, and on the seventh day, uh, he rested or something like that. And I mean that with the utmost respect, um, it's a word of advice, you know, and um, you can grab a, a Taoist or a Buddhist or a Hindu and you'll find some kind of a message like that. Uh, you'll find um, you need to empty your cup and to fill it up again. And that's another great, great uh, piece of uh, wisdom. And so I did. And usually I, I take my my resting day is from Saturday to Sunday. I get away from um, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube and, and everything and just read and meditate and um, try to enjoy my life. And uh, in this occasion, I didn't try to enjoy my life through or with blades. Um, because there's so much more to my life than blades, you know, they're fantastic, they're, they're awesome, but at the same time, it's not all there is. I, I love art, I love uh, philosophy, I love uh, breathing, reading um, different things. I'm reading a, a book uh, about um, manga and um, manga and what's the other, anime and religion. Uh, vernacular religion and it's fantastic it's a bit technical but it, it really is interesting and it um, challenges my uh, the use of English because it's it's a, a, a pretty elevated um, vocabulary written by a, a Stanford doctor uh, of languages I think and um, it's just a fantastic uh, book but and then there's uh, opera or, or uh, classical music or just a whole bunch of uh, colorful um, activities that, that life has, cooking. And um, so I, I cooked some, some uh, crepes sucettes over the weekend because it was a friend's, uh, a dear friend's birthday. And um, anyways, life is just so much more than one topic or one thing or one problem. It's a, it's a whole um, rainbow of things. Um, a whole, you know, it's not just white and black. Um, there's just so many colors in between and even uh, grades, you know, in between those two colors. Uh, so many grades of, of gray and but I forget, and, and when I forget, I get obsessed, and, and I start getting negative and, and looking at the things the wrong way, or, or maybe not the wrong way, but in a, a very narrow, narrow view. And, well, I don't think that's the point of things, but rather to um, widen my point of view and have a better perspective, a wider perspective, a bigger perspective, and um, 
a smarter perspective. But anyways, and that's achieved not just by focusing on one thing, but by relaxing and including the rest of my life. And as it is, well, you know that we are living tough times and and with the COVID and all and, and unemployment and all that stuff um, and being semi-locked up and um, it's just tough, you know, especially, for example, I was a, a, a teacher that uh, I've mentioned this before. My classroom was the outdoors as I taught um, ecology and, and permaculture and, and, and social studies. And well, that changed a lot. And I'm still trying to figure out to shoot some videos in the outdoors to cover that need because it is a need in me but it, it's also a need to practice uh, use my blades and create you know it may seem easy but uh, whittling a sphere it's so darn uh, challenging it really is and it's fantastic. It's really enjoyable once you get the when you're approaching the the final product, and it's it's just uh, and then send it, um, and then sometimes I, I um, um, finish it with uh, uh, lin linseed boiled uh, oil. Uh, this is a, a piece of wood from from an apple tree and this is one of the the best uh, works or at least the the one of the ones I, I've liked the most this little spoon and the spheres um, just uh, really enjoyable and let's not forget to enjoy life and the simple things and stop and, and give the mind and the body and our um, energetic um, bodies some rest, some ease and relaxation. It is necessary, at least I think, to lead a, a healthier life, uh, to just uh, listen to nature and... and Try to continuously balance my life because that's what nature does every time. There's no stability. There's just constant, constant balancing. And that creates uh, a sense of stability and a sense of uh, many things. But, um, well, that's, that's the lesson I learned and that I wanted to share with, with you all and to wish you a fantastic week. Hope you had a great weekend. And don't forget, don't forget that uh, to, to fill our cup, we must first empty it. And that rest of the mind and, and body and, and soul is necessary. Otherwise, we'll get uh, perhaps a very expensive um, invoice to pay in the future. So let's not go to, not go to that point and um, to a point of no return and listen to uh, people much wiser than, than myself. I'm just repeating and, and what um, much much more wiser people have said and just giving you, sharing my experience and interpretation of those words. So guys, hope you have a wonderful week and we'll see you uh, during the week and next Sunday. 
for another Blade Philosophy series. Professor EDC out.